The sensibility now is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. 1920 was sex, alcohol, and jazz. There's always been a love-hate relationship with the American gangster and American culture. It's the, the dark side of the American dream. Boardwalk Empire is uh, the story of Nucky Thompson, who is the treasurer of Atlantic City in 1920. Sort of half gangster and half politician. He was the guy who ran everything. Now, Nucky Thompson is not a real gangster. He's corrupt. He's thrilled that Prohibition is coming in because it means that he and his bootlegger friends will make a lot of money. Do I need to count it? I believe you don't trust me. Jimmy Darmany's working for Nucky Thompson. He begins to see the future in ways that um, Nucky can't see. Nobody move! United States Bureau of Internal Revenue. This is a raid. They're involved in a variety of illegal activities, and I'm trying to put him in prison. Once Prohibition was enacted, Nucky had to step up the gangster portion of his game a little bit because now the rules had suddenly changed. If there's uh, anything I could do, Oh, there is, actually. You can kill someone for me. Nucky dealt directly with Al Capone, Lucky Luciano, Arnold Rothstein, major gangsters and rum runners of the day. It's not Lucky Luciano and Al Capone that we know today. It's the youth version, but they're gangster toddlers that are just beginning. Martin Scorsese's very alive on set, and that energy just makes you want to do your best. I've always been interested in the idea of the long form most novel-like approach to a storytelling. There's really a handful of movies and almost no television shows that have explored this era. And it was an opportunity to start with this great backdrop and just incredible characters to play with and tell this epic story. Yeah.